I missed my morning window. I'm here after work and it's getting dark. So let's go. All right, we've had a couple good days of working on contact, but I want to shift today and work on footwork. Specifically, I'm going to try to alternate open stance and closed stance. And in the warm up here, you can see that I favor stepping in uh, and closing off the forehand. It's definitely a remnant of how I was taught as a kid. You know, late 90s, closed stance was the go to technique for a lot of coaches still. And it's just one of those things that, for better or worse, I've held on to. I don't mind hitting open stance. I hit open stance when I'm pulled wide or if I'm attacking an approach shot. But from the baseline, it's just not my default. So I'm just going to work on that a little bit today. But first, today's episode is brought to you by Shanks, coming to a backboard near you. All right, warm up done, let's start some open stance. If you're new to tennis, generally open stance is marked by loading your outside leg and then using that load through the legs, hips and core to transfer your weight into the shot. Every pro does this in today's game to some extent because it probably is the best way to transfer your weight into the ball. You mostly see it on forehands, but it can also be done well with the two-handed backhand. You don't see it too much with the one-hander. It just doesn't lend itself as easy for the mechanics of the one-hander. So at the start, it was a little tricky to get some of these open stance. I feel like I'm having to force the footwork and it feels kind of awkward and well, forced. And I don't think I'm in great position for a lot of these uh, to hit open stance, especially on these lower balls. But I do still think it's a good drill. One, because it's sort of exaggerated hitting, which I think is good because it can really ingrain the feel a lot quicker. And two, it forces me to make a decision and commit to my shot which for tennis players, commitment can be difficult. That's tiring. So much more tiring, which is weird because all I'm doing is adding open stance. Is open stance really that much more intensive? I can't imagine it is. Something else has to be going on. I'm trying to hit too hard. Psyching myself out with that open stance. Calm down, try to get that smooth calm flow of the hands from yesterday. A lot easier said than done. I had a real hard time today trying to stay smooth and controlled with the swing. And I bet it's because whenever I hit open stance in a match, 85% of the time it's on a short ball and I'm attacking. So my default open stance is always aggressive. And that brings up something that I've never thought about, but that means that I approach different shots with a different mindset. And I wonder if that is a limiting factor in my game. And I think this closed stance open stance is a great example because from behind the baseline I'm very comfortable hitting close stance but as soon as I try open stance as we've just discovered I instantly get overly aggressive so I'm losing any strategic options that open stance might otherwise allow me because I have limited it to a shot that I only use inside the baseline to be aggressive with. Does that make sense? So I think this is a good opportunity to take stock in my entire uh, shot arsenal figure out where on the court I use use them, how or when in a match I use them, and what my particular mindset or like intensity level for each shot is. And I suspect that the more range you have in your game, or the more overlap you have in each shot, probably the better the player you are. So I'm going to try to expand how I utilize open stance. I think where that starts for me is to try to calm down the intensity of the open stance. I think you could do this on a variety of shots, but today, since we're already on the this open stance kick, we're gonna keep it going. I felt better that time. Staying calm with the hands. The more like intense you feel, for some reason, I just wanna grip this thing as tight as I can. Just rip at it. But there's so much less control. I was hitting so many under the tape. That last round though, try to relax a little bit. It's weird to like go fast with the feet and like calm with the hands. It's hard to like separate those two. But I think that's, I think that would really help. Going fast with the feet and calm with the hands. 
Did I just come up with that? No, I'm sure someone else has already said that. But that has really changed the way I think about the relationship between my footwork and my swing. Because we found out that if I increased the intensity of my footwork, it made my hands tense up. That means my hands and my feet are connected, which up until today I would have thought was a good thing. But I don't think that's the case anymore. I think the intensity in the feet and the intensity in the hands need to be able to stay separate because the feet have to move and most of the time they have to move fast, right? But the hands need to be flexible in the sense that if I'm in position and ready to fire, like boom, I can go for it. But if I'm on the defense, the feet still have to get me there, but the hands need a little bit more feel. And if I'm at the net or playing a touch shot, the hands need finesse, right? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. It feels counterintuitive, but it makes sense in my head. I don't quite have a feel for it with the swing just yet, but now that that understanding is there, it's something we can work on. We're not gonna get our 500 hits in today. It's just too dark. I can barely see anymore, but today felt good. I got a lot out of today. Hopefully you got something out of the video too. If you like this kind of stuff, overhead smash that like button, subscribe, share with a friend you think might like this too. See you out here tomorrow. Don't forget to serve big and string off. I think that's it. Too dark.